Test 8. Listening. Part 1. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now, open your question paper and look at part one. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. What time does the film begin? What time shall we meet? I don't want to miss the start of the film. Well, my dad doesn't finish work until 3. He's driving me to the cinema. That takes at least 20 minutes. If you want to wait somewhere, there's a coffee shop opposite. You can have a drink. I'll be there by half past at the latest. We've got until 4 o'clock before it starts, haven't we? I like watching the adverts. They start at about a quarter to. Well, I'm sure we'll be inside by then. Now listen again. What time shall we meet? I don't want to miss the start of the film. Well, my dad doesn't finish work until three. He's driving me to the cinema. That takes at least 20 minutes. If you want to wait somewhere, there's a coffee shop opposite. You can have a drink. I'll be there by half past at the latest. We've got until four o'clock before it starts, haven't we? I like watching the adverts. They start at about a quarter to. Well, I'm sure we'll be inside by then. Two. Which room should the students go to after the break? OK, there's a change of room after the mid-morning break. Normally at this time on a Thursday, you'd be doing science in the lab. But I'm afraid we're having some equipment repaired, so that room's out of use. So your science lesson will be in the art room instead. Now, I know some of you were hoping to use the internet during the lesson, and there are no computers in your new room. But don't worry, you'll be able to use the computer room for that afterwards, at lunchtime. Now listen again. OK, there's a change of room after the mid-morning break. Normally at this time on a Thursday, you'd be doing science in the lab. But I'm afraid we're having some equipment repaired, so that room's out of use. So your science lesson will be in the art room instead. Now, I know some of you were hoping to use the internet during the lesson, and there are no computers in your new room. But don't worry, you'll be able to use the computer room for that afterwards, at lunchtime. Three. Which sport does the girl's brother play now? I like to talk about a sport that my brother Oliver plays. I expect you used to see him playing volleyball on the beach. What you may not know is that he's now given that up and plays rugby instead. He learned to play when we spent six months at a school in England. I had to play hockey, which I didn't like. But Oliver got on really well with his new sport, and now he's started a team here in our city. I've got some photos here to show you. Now listen again. I like to talk about a sport that my brother Oliver plays. I expect you used to see him playing volleyball on the beach. What you may not know is that he's now given that up and plays rugby instead. He learned to play when we spent six months at a school in England. 
I had to play hockey, which I didn't like. But Oliver got on really well with his new sport, and now he's started a team here in our city. I've got some photos here to show you. Four. Which game did the boy like most? Hi. I just wanted to say I got three really cool games for my birthday. Do you want to get together to play? I got that dinosaur game I was talking about. That's great, but it's not my favourite. My brother gave me a Space Monsters one, which just beats anything else I've ever played. Can't wait to show it to you. The other one I got is about deep sea diving. I haven't tried that yet, but it looks cool. We could try that too if you like. Call me. Now listen again. Hi, I just wanted to say I got three really cool games for my birthday. Do you want to get together to play? I got that dinosaur game I was talking about. That's great, but it's not my favourite. My brother gave me a Space Monsters one, which just beats anything else I've ever played. Can't wait to show it to you. The other one I got is about deep sea diving. I haven't tried that yet. But it looks cool. We could try that too if you like. Call me. Five. Where did the family stay on holiday? So, how was your holiday? It was fun, but we didn't use the tent and stuff that my mum and dad bought. Really? No. They thought it'd be much cheaper than renting a country cottage. That's what we normally do. But actually, we ended up staying in a hotel, because we arrived in the middle of a big storm. It was so windy they couldn't put the tent up. Bits of it actually blew away. No. I can laugh about it now, but it was awful at the time. Now listen again. So how was your holiday? It was fun. But we didn't use the tent and stuff that my mum and dad bought. Really? No. They thought it'd be much cheaper than renting a country cottage. That's what we normally do. But actually, we ended up staying in a hotel because we arrived in the middle of a big storm. It was so windy they couldn't put the tent up. Bits of it actually blew away. No. I can laugh about it now, but it was awful at the time. Six. What flavour ice cream does the boy choose? Which flavour ice cream are you going to have? I can't decide between the chocolate one and the raspberry one. What do you think? Oh, I had the chocolate one last time. It's not the best I've ever had, but the raspberry is really nice. You can really taste the fruit. Which one are you going to have? I'm going for lemon this time. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, I'm not keen on lemon. I'm going to go with the one you recommend. Okay. I hope you like it. <laughs> now listen again. Which flavour ice cream are you going to have? I can't decide between the chocolate one and the raspberry one. What do you think? Oh, I had the chocolate one last time. It's not the best I've ever had, but the raspberry is really nice. You can really taste the fruit. Which one are you going to have? I'm going for lemon this time. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, I'm not keen on lemon. I'm going to go with the one you recommend. Okay. I hope you like it. <laughs> Seven. What still hurts the girl? Hey, what happened to you? I fell off my bike. There was some wet stuff on the road, and I didn't slow down in time. It was my own fault. And you've hurt your knee. Oh, that's just a small cut. It's my shoulder that's really painful. At first, I thought I'd broken my ankle because that was really sore too. But that's all better now. 
Poor you. Oh, I'll be okay. But I won't be cycling again any time soon. Now listen again. Hey, what happened to you? I fell off my bike. There was some wet stuff on the road and I didn't slow down in time. It was my own fault. And you've hurt your knee. Oh, that's just a small cut. It's my shoulder that's really painful. At first I thought I'd broken my ankle because that was really sore too. But that's all better now. Poor you. Oh, I'll be okay. But I won't be cycling again any time soon. That is the end of part one. Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear a girl telling a friend about a class presentation she has to do. What is she worrying about? Are you all ready for your presentation tomorrow? Don't ask. I've practiced in front of the mirror over and over again. I've got all my slides uploaded onto my mum's laptop. That's the one part I'm not anxious about, actually. The good thing is that the slides are in order and I've got a list. That should stop me losing my place, too. I mean, I've learnt it all off by heart. What about if it's really dull and everyone stops listening? You'll be fine. You should relax this evening. You've practised enough. OK. I guess you're right. Now listen again. Are you all ready for your presentation tomorrow? Don't ask. I've practised in front of the mirror over and over again. I've got all my slides uploaded onto my mum's laptop. That's the one part I'm not anxious about, actually. The good thing is that the slides are in order and I've got a list. That should stop me losing my place, too. I mean, I've learnt it all off by heart, but what about if it's really dull and everyone stops listening? You'll be fine. You should relax this evening. You've practised enough. OK. I guess you're right. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about the village where they live. What do they both think the village needs more of? Apparently, the local council's got some money to spend on our village. What do you think they should spend it on? Well, we always used to say things for young people, but since the gym and football training ground opened, we've been OK. I agree. Maybe it's time they spend something on the old folks. Like, somewhere for them to rest when they're out for a walk. You're right. You know, there isn't anywhere, really. They could put something next to the kids' climbing frame, for example, that's a really good place for one. Let's suggest it. Now listen again. Apparently, the local council's got some money to spend on our village. What do you think they should spend it on? Well, we always used to say things for young people, but since the gym and football training ground opened, we've been OK. I agree. Maybe it's time they spend something on the old folks. Like, somewhere for them to rest when they're out for a walk. You're right. You know, there isn't anywhere, really. They could put something next to the kids' climbing frame, for example. That's a really good place for one. Let's suggest it. Ten. You will hear a brother and sister talking about a birthday party. What does the boy agree to do? I'm looking forward to the party. Getting everything ready is such fun. It depends what you're expected to do. I wish I was doing the music. 
I think I'd be really good at that. Well, Uncle Tom's doing it and that's the end of it. How about you send out emails to everyone on our list telling them the date and time and stuff? Unless you'd rather do some cooking? No way! That's your job. I'll get started. Where's that list? I'll text it to you. Oh, and ask everyone if there's anything they don't or can't eat. Will do. Now listen again. I'm looking forward to the party. Getting everything ready is such fun. It depends what you're expected to do. I wish I was doing the music. I think I'd be really good at that. Well, Uncle Tom's doing it and that's the end of it. How about you send out emails to everyone on our list telling them the date and time and stuff? Unless you'd rather do some cooking? No way! That's your job. I'll get started. Where's that list? I'll text it to you. Oh, and ask everyone if there's anything they don't or can't eat. Will do. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about a new shopping centre. What do they agree about it? So, the new shopping centre's open. Have you been yet? Yeah, last Sunday. But it seems to be mostly women's clothes stores. Oh, that's not fair. There are all sorts of different places, including quite a few restaurants that I wouldn't mind trying, like that Mexican one. Well, I wouldn't choose that one. But there are one or two others that looked OK. Trouble is, how do you get there if you haven't got a lift? No buses go there. Well, I went on the bus. The number four goes that way now. Really? I never get the number four. Now listen again. So, the new shopping centre's open. Have you been yet? Yeah, last Sunday. But it seems to be mostly women's clothes stores. Oh, that's not fair. There are all sorts of different places including quite a few restaurants that I wouldn't mind trying, like that Mexican one. Well, I wouldn't choose that one. But there are one or two others that looked OK. Trouble is, how do you get there if you haven't got a lift? No buses go there. Well, I went on the bus. The number four goes that way now. Really? I never get the number four. Twelve. You will hear a girl telling a friend about changes at her school. What is she doing? So it's all change at your school then? Yeah, we're getting a new timetable. I mean, I understand why. It's because the school's really full and the corridors get really crowded and noisy at the change of lesson. Basically, you lose five minutes out of every lesson. So, from now on, we're staying put and the teachers are changing rooms. Sounds like a good idea. Actually, I don't mind. I just thought it'd be easier to have different years changing lessons at different times. Well, that would disturb everyone even more. Oh, that's true. I didn't think of that. Now listen again. So it's all change at your school then? Yeah, we're getting a new timetable. I mean, I understand why. It's because the school's really full and the corridors get really crowded and noisy at the change of lesson. Basically, you lose five minutes out of every lesson. So, from now on, we're staying put and the teachers are changing rooms. Sounds like a good idea. Actually, I don't mind. I just thought it'd be easier to have different years changing lessons at different times. Well, that would disturb everyone even more. Oh, that's true. I didn't think of that. Thirteen. You will hear two friends talking about a museum visit. What is the purpose of the visit?
We're going to the museum tomorrow. I can't remember why, though. The teacher did explain. We're meant to write down interesting facts about the age of exploration. There's a special exhibition on. I thought we were supposed to watch a video while we're there. There is a good video, but that's not why we're going. He said that's something we could do if we liked. And there's a fantastic gold ring from South America on display too. But that's even older. So why do we have to see that? We don't have to, but we might as well if we're there. Now listen again. We're going to the museum tomorrow. I can't remember why though. The teacher did explain. We're meant to write down interesting facts about the age of exploration. There's a special exhibition on. I thought we were supposed to watch a video while we're there. There is a good video, but that's not why we're going. He said that's something we could do if we liked. And there's a fantastic gold ring from South America on display too. But that's even older. So why do we have to see that? We don't have to, but we might as well if we're there. That is the end of part two. Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. You have 20 seconds to look at part three. You will hear a boy called Simon giving a class presentation about a course in digital art he went on. Hi, my name's Simon and I'd like to tell you about a digital art course I went on at our local college. The course teaches you how to use digital techniques like Photoshop creatively. It's really interesting. The course lasts for five days and anyone can sign up. For an adult it costs £500, but there's a discount for students. University students pay 450 but if you're a school student it's only 375 That convinced my parents to let me do it. At first I thought I'd need an expensive camera to do the course, but actually they tell you that a normal smartphone is good enough. In fact, all you have to take on the first day is a memory stick. Everything else is provided. The course dealt with different things on different days. I was really looking forward to learning how to do line drawings on screen. But actually, the session on colour and how to use it was the most interesting. It really changed the way I think about my artwork. A good thing about the course is that everything you create is saved digitally, in a form that's easy to print when you get back home, or if you want to take a copy in to show your friends at school. You don't need any special equipment. In fact, after the course, all your work is uploaded onto the college website, where you can see it in a gallery. My parents were really impressed to see it there. To hear more about the course, you should email the teacher, who's called Maggie Hurley. I'll spell her address for you. It's M-H-U-R-L-E-Y at college.com. She's a great teacher and she'd be happy to tell you all about the course. Now listen again. Hi, my name's Simon and I'd like to tell you about a digital art course I went on at our local college. 
The course teaches you how to use digital techniques like Photoshop creatively. It's really interesting. The course lasts for five days and anyone can sign up. For an adult, it costs £500, but there's a discount for students. University students pay 450 but if you're a school student, it's only 375 That convinced my parents to let me do it. At first, I thought I'd need an expensive camera to do the course, but actually, they tell you that a normal smartphone is good enough. In fact, all you have to take on the first day is a memory stick. Everything else is provided. The course dealt with different things on different days. I was really looking forward to learning how to do line drawings on screen, but actually, the session on colour and how to use it was the most interesting. It really changed the way I think about my artwork. A good thing about the course is that everything you create is saved digitally, in a form that's easy to print when you get back home, or if you want to take a copy in to show your friends at school. You don't need any special equipment. In fact, after the course, all your work is uploaded onto the college website, where you can see it in a gallery. My parents were really impressed to see it there. To hear more about the course, you should email the teacher, who's called Maggie Hurley. I'll spell her address for you. It's M H U R L E Y at college.com. She's a great teacher and she'd be happy to tell you all about the course. That is the end of part three. Now turn to part four, questions 20 to 25. For each question, choose the correct answer. You have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part four. You will hear an interview with a young breakdancer called Chelsea Fordham, who appears on music videos. I'm talking to the young breakdancer, Chelsea Fordham. Why did you choose this type of dance, Chelsea? I grew up playing tennis and going swimming, so I was always pretty fit. Then one day, out shopping, there were some breakdancers performing in the mall. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I just wanted to do it. My mum thought it was strange because I'd always refused to go to ballet classes as a kid. So did it take long to learn? It was the school holidays, so I just spent all day, every day, practising. There are classes you can go to and websites that tell you what to do, but... I just studied what really experienced dancers did on music videos and got ideas from them. Before long, I was making up moves of my own. So, when you're doing a dance routine for a music video, what happens? Basically, the singer sends me a recording. I play it over and over again until I'm really familiar with it. Then I plan the moves. Sometimes it takes half an hour, sometimes it takes all day. I keep dancing the routine until I've got it right. It's very personal. I try to avoid getting feedback from anybody until I'm completely happy with it. Are some singers easier to make videos with than others? Well, I know the type I like. They arrive on time and do what they're told. <laughs> Basically, if the singer thinks they know better than the director, 
or if they think making a video is just a bit of fun, then they're in the wrong place. I mean, it's an enjoyable thing to do, but you've got to put in lots of effort. You also work with a group of dancers, your crew. That's right. We do break dancing together once a week. They actually meet more often, though. My job's to set them a challenge, and they work on it. When I go in next time, I can see how it's going and make suggestions. I don't actually dance with them in public. That's not my role. So, what's coming up next, Chelsea? Well, I'm getting lots of offers. Somebody wanted to make a movie about me, but I wasn't keen, so I said no. But I am appearing in some new music videos with a big name star. I can't tell you who yet, it's secret. People ask me why I don't start a dance academy, but I'm a bit young for that yet. Now listen again. I'm talking to the young break dancer, Chelsea Fordham. Why did you choose this type of dance, Chelsea? I grew up playing tennis and going swimming, so I was always pretty fit. Then one day, out shopping, there were some break dancers performing in the mall. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I just wanted to do it. My mum thought it was strange because I'd always refused to go to ballet classes as a kid. So did it take long to learn? It was the school holidays, so I just spent all day, every day, practising. There are classes you can go to and websites that tell you what to do, but I just studied what really experienced dancers did on music videos and got ideas from them. Before long, I was making up moves of my own. So when you're doing a dance routine for a music video, what happens? Basically, the singer sends me a recording. I play it over and over again until I'm really familiar with it. Then I plan the moves. Sometimes it takes half an hour, sometimes it takes all day. I keep dancing the routine until I've got it right. It's very personal. I try to avoid getting feedback from anybody until I'm completely happy with it. Are some singers easier to make videos with than others? Well, I know the type I like. They arrive on time and do what they're told. <laughs> Basically, if the singer thinks they know better than the director, or if they think making a video is just a bit of fun, then they're in the wrong place. I mean, it's an enjoyable thing to do, but you've got to put in lots of effort. You also work with a group of dancers, your crew. That's right. We do break dancing together once a week. They actually meet more often, though. My job's to set them a challenge, and they work on it. When I go in next time, I can see how it's going and make suggestions. I don't actually dance with them in public. That's not my role. So what's coming up next, Chelsea? Well, I'm getting lots of offers. Somebody wanted to make a movie about me, but I wasn't keen, so I said no. But I am appearing in some new music videos with a big name star. I can't tell you who yet, it's secret. People ask me why I don't start a dance academy, but I'm a bit young for that yet. That is the end of part four.